Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Thursday, August the 15th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, the events from Philadelphia were very troubling uh, Wednesday evening, and I heard about it on the radio, and my first thought, uh, I have to confess, my first thought was to go back to Dallas a couple of years ago when uh, some police officers were killed here in the Dallas area. That was my, my first thought. Now, thankfully, none of the police officers were killed in Philadelphia. Some were injured, and uh, I assume they're being treated or in the hospital or out of the hospital. I'm not 100% sure about that. But I think this incident highlights two important things as we talk about gun control again. The first one is that uh, the job of being a police officer is very difficult. Uh, these police officers were serving a warrant, and they were met by bullets, uh, so... I think we need to sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes people are too easy to criticize the police, but they, these guys do a very difficult job. And I think for the most part, they do it very well, particularly in some of our big cities and with the crime problems that they have. The other issue is, how did this criminal get that gun? This is a man who had a long criminal record. I mean, this guy should have never had a gun. This man, I don't even know what he was doing in the street, frankly, given the criminal record that he has, but yet... He was in the streets and he had a gun. So once again, what we see is that you can pass all the gun laws you want. You can write the most beautiful gun law in the world. But at the end of the day, criminals are going to get their guns and they're going to use those guns to do criminal things as uh, happened in Philadelphia. So as we talk about guns, let's remember that criminals do not obey gun laws and criminals are the ones who are shooting. Thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, and on my blog. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.